Hey guys, Ghetto Gypsy here, back with another Marvel Legends custom review. Today, I'm going to be doing part four of the Inhumans, and uh, here we go with Medusa. Uh, this is Medusa in her classic costume. Uh, the figure that was that was made for me was made by Hunter Knight 4. You guys probably seen him on YouTube. If not, where have you been? Go check him out. Uh, so. In a little bit about Medusa, she is the queen of the Inhumans. She is also the wife of Black Bolt, uh, sister of Crystal, and also happens to be Black Bolt's uh, cousin, first cousin, might I add. Ew. So basically, uh, the figure. Well, let's start the review, and I'll tell you details about it. Okay, so as for articulation, uh, the articulation is pretty good on this figure. Um, what he did, he used a Psylocke from, I don't know which wave or whatever, but you know what I'm talking about, the Psylocke from the Marvel Legends line. So that's the base figure for, uh, for Medusa. Now, uh, the only thing is, uh, you might be wondering, I'm going to tilt it down a bit, I have her on a stand like that. The reason why is because her hair as you can see, is made out of uh, like the clay that they use for uh, for sculpting. So um, the reason why I used it like this is because to get a Medusa with fully articulated hair would be extremely expensive and it would be very uh, difficult for whoever's making the custom because it's a different type of clay that they would to use, uh, epoxy actually. It would be kind of similar like the uh, hair that we have on the female Marvel Legend figures. And to do all that hair fully articulated, yeah, it would look cool, but not even I have all the money to do that. So the downside is, is with all this here, as you can see, the, he the head is quite heavy. Now, the only reason I got Medusa, literally, is I'm not a fan of Medusa that much, but in order to complete the Inhumans, you need to have her. Normally, she stands a lot easier than this, guys. Don't get me wrong. It's just today, I guess it's the time of the month for her. She's being a bitch. So anyway, so head, obviously, there's not that much articulation. She could turn from side to side. Uh, she, could, she can't even look up or down because of the hair. hinders everything here. So uh, she has, you know, arm joints, elbow, uh, wrist joints. Uh, she, she could turn her neck, torso, leg, and even the foot. So the articulation on her is quite good. Uh, she's more of a, like I said, not only because I want to complete my inhumans, but she couldn't be uh, used as a background character. Uh, just, uh, I don't know if you guys could see it, but there is a hole in her back. So... If you can't get the flight stand to fit into the hole, you just put it up in her hair, and uh, that will that'll work too. Okay, now the colors. Obviously, he got the colors dead on. Uh, I used the, the classic look for Medusa. Uh, that's how I remember Medusa to be. Uh, she's now uh, in the War of Kings and the Realm of Kings and all that stuff. She has a different look, obviously. But I always liked this look. It was more super, you know, superheroish. So she got, uh, you know, her pink gloves with the black tips, uh, purplish pink uh, costume, uh, the belt, shape of an M, and her boots similar to her gloves in that style. So the colors are nice. The red is nice in the hair. It's like pure red. I like the details. You know, you can actually see that it's actual hair. You know, again, if it was articulated, would it look awesome? Hell yes, but who's going to waste that much money on a figure, especially... So, Medusa. there you are. I put a flight stand on her just to show you a small example. This was real quick. Obviously, because of the weight of her hair, I have to tape it. But, uh, you know, if you do one of those, like, Red Hulk 80 displays, which uh, I like to call it, so when you use props, let's just say these are regular props, you can hide this. And basically, it doesn't look that bad. So you can get her into some action poses. This is not an action pose, but it's just to show that the uh, the flight stand does go on her back. It connects. Like I said, she's just meant to be a background character for me. It's just so I can have all the Inhumans. So that's it, guys. That's my review on the uh, custom uh, 
Medusa from Hunter Knight 4. Like I said, not a major badass character. Uh, you look at it, it is nice to look at, it is well done, and, you know, it'll look great in the display, especially if you're making the Inhumans or even the Fantastic Four, because uh, she was a temporary member of the Fantastic Four at one point. Cool? So, you guys, I'll see you back in a couple of days with another Marvel Legends custom review. Next one on the list is Triton. Peace.